In the last video, we assigned priority to all of the groups on the chiral center of this molecule. But um, in step three, uh, in order to decide if this is R or S, we have to take the lightest priority or the lowest priority substituent and rotate it away from us. As we're looking at this right now, the lowest priority is facing towards us. So how are we going to deal with this? Well, if we had a model, if we built a model like I have of this, we could we see right here is our chiral center in the middle. There's a chlorine attached to it, a methyl group, an ethyl group, and a vinyl group over here. Now, this is oriented in the correct way. The chlorine is pointing away from you. The methyl is pointing towards you and this well, I mean, it's, it's correct as it's shown on the board here. Now, if we want to assign either R or S, we have to take this lightest priority, the lowest priority, and move it away from us, and then find out whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. But as it's written right here, it's hard to see whether, whether or not, uh, it, it's, that's, this can be hard to visualize. The way I do it is I imagine that I'm behind it, right? That I'm actually standing on the opposite side of the board looking this way. But that can be pretty hard for, especially when you first start doing this, it's kind of hard to visualize something in, in that manner. So there's a trick you could do here. So I'm going to redraw the carbon right here like this. And I'm going to, first I'm going to move this so it's not right there at that reflection. <laughs> I'll draw it directly under it. Okay, so we have the carbon, and I'm going to draw the bonds but with nothing attached. Okay, so there's something coming out, something going back, and then two things in the plane. Now, ultimately, we want to have the lightest thing facing away from us. So let's go ahead and make that step one. Let's draw the lightest thing at pointing away, which is going to correspond to this one right here. Because remember, that's how the 3D representation is. The, the thing with the dotted lines means it's pointing into the board. So the, we said that the lowest priority was this one, the methyl group. So I'm going to write that there. There's the CH3. Now, when Whenever you have something on a chiral center, if you make one swap, now it's no longer the same molecule, right? Because obviously if you, if you swap two things out, it's not written the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and sw I, I said I swapped that one there. I'm going to go ahead and put that one where this one once was. There's the chlorine. Now, now if I were to draw this one right here and this one right here, well, obviously, we'd have a different molecule. So what happens if we swap it a second time? Let's say we make another swap. So if I swapped this one over here and this one over here, well, CH3, CH2. I, I drew this ethyl group on that side. And now I'm going to draw the vinyl group on this side. So there's the CH double bond CH2. Well, now we have the same molecule because we've made two swaps. If you don't believe me, let's check it out. Let's, let's see. So we had our vinyl group up top right here. There's the double bond. Here's our chiral center. Right here with my right hand, I'm holding the ethyl group. There's the methyl group coming out towards us and the chlorine going away from us. Well, as I've drawn it here, the chlorine's coming out. So it's like this, right? The chlorine's coming out at me. The methyl group is going back. The vinyl group's up here. And the ethyl group is right there. So I've drawn the same molecule by making two swaps. And that's, that's generally the rule. And you can make any two swaps you want. I could have swapped these two and then these two if I wanted to as long as I don't swap these and then swap them back because then I haven't done anything and what's the point of that? So when you're making, when you have something drawn in a three-dimensional configuration, 
and you want to rotate it so that the lowest priority is facing away from you, step one is redraw the chiral center. So you have your chiral center there, and you just redraw that, right? The same way with all of those bonds, but with nothing attached to the bonds. That's step one. And step two is you take your lowest priority and put that in the position that's away from you. And so then you make that first swap, okay? And then you just make another swap. And you could cho choose any two you want, but you might as well go ahead and choose the two that you haven't done before, you know? I don't know. That's the way I usually do it. If something's really confusing and I can't just visualize it. So, now we're at this point. Sometimes it's helpful to go ahead and write the numbers back where, where they were so you don't get confused. So the lowest priority we said was this one, the methyl group. And that's facing away from us, which is good. That's what we want to do. And okay, which one was this? That was the highest priority. That was number four. This one was number three. It's the third. And then this one, the ethyl, was number two. So now we can move on. We've done step three in the in the overall determining if this is R or S. So we've done step three. We've rotated the we've rotated it so that the lowest is pointing away from us. And now we could see whether this goes clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, we start with the highest number and then move towards the next number and then the next number and then back. So I see that this is a counterclockwise motion right here. So since it's counterclockwise, it's S for sinister or left-handed. So uh, we, get, we have a little time. I'm going to go ahead and name this molecule completely. I said that you know we're not going to really worry about naming, but this is a, uh, if you're into naming, we can go ahead and do this. So first thing I'm going to do is identify the longest chain. And as I'm looking at this right now, I could see that this here, use a different color. This here is the longest chain of carbons right there. Okay. And which is going to get priority? Well, the, the one that's double bonded here has to get priority, right? So I'm going to number that starting with the double bond, the terminal end of the double bond. We get one, two, three, four, and five. So this is going to be a pent something. And okay, so we have an ene, right? So that's going to be a pent ene. And since the ene starts on one, it's going to be a one pentene. So we're going to end up with a one pentene. One pentene. And let's see, what other substituents do we have here? Well, on the third carbon, we have a, chlor, a chloride or a, a, a chlorine and a methyl group. So that's going to be, let's, we have to go alphabetically because they get the same priority in naming. And since C comes before M in the alphabet, we're going to have three chloro, three methyl, because it's also attached to the third carbon. And I'm running out of room here. Methyl. So that's going to be S. I don't think there is a dash there. There might be. I don't know. Reference your book. I, I can't remember if there's a dash after it or not. So that's going to be S, three chloro, 3-methyl, 1-pentene. And we determined it was S because we went through and did all of the stuff to name it, other R or S. So, um, yeah, let's do another example.